tired of losing customers after working so hard to win them over? Not to mention 80% of a company's future revenue comes from just 20% of its existing customers. An effective ABM strategy could be just what you need to keep your customers engaged and grow your revenue. Hello, I'm a marketer at Rollworks. And in this video, I'll review effective customer retention and opportunity methods you can implement in your ABM strategy to help keep you on track long after onboarding is complete. We'll refer to these methods as plays. The work isn't done once a deal is closed. And with these plays, you'll be able to make your customers feel seen and heard all while making sure they're optimizing your product as best as possible. If you like these plays, you can download them in our ebook. It includes more on how to approach expansion, cross-selling and upselling opportunities that are authentic and relevant to the customer. The link to the ebook is in the description. Now let's get started. Here are a few retention and opportunity plays to implement in your ABM strategy. Retention play number one, low product usage. If your customers aren't utilizing your product to its full potential, it could be a sign that they may be considering other options. To combat this, you can segment your audience for more personalized, target content, and messaging that will resonate with them. Retention play number two, customers showing interest in competitors. If you notice that your customers are searching your competitors, it's a sign you need to step up your game. You can monitor intent keywords around key competitors, align with product marketing management and customer service management teams to better understand your product's value, proposition, and turn it into a compelling competitive message. Let's move on to opportunity plays. Opportunity play number one, accounts binging content. When your customers are binging on your content, it's a great sign that they're interested in your product. To capitalize on this interest, you can segment groups by content category to target them more effectively based on their interests. You can also create a product-oriented email nurture campaign to help guide them through the buying process and customer journey. Opportunity play number two, insights from customer advisory board. If you have a customer advisory board, it's a valuable resource into understanding your customers' needs and preferences. You can identify accounts that are similar to board members, personalize messaging based on insights for more effective, relevant engagement, and launch targeted campaigns to reach and influence new high fit accounts. By implementing these retention and opportunity plays, you can ensure that your customers will feel valued and heard, all while increasing your chances of success. We hope you found this video helpful, and for all things ABM, we'll leave links to helpful resources in the description. Thanks for watching.